Hello, welcome to VSMix YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about formation of galaxy. In the origin and structure. The scientists are discuss the possibility that our solar system formed in wind blow, bubbles, and long dead stars. We live on the planet called Earth that is part of our solar system. But where is our solar system? Our solar system is a small part of Milky Way galaxy. A galaxy in a huge collection of gas, dust and billions of stars and their solar system. There are many galaxies beside ours. Though the Hubble Space Telescope looked at the small patch of space for 12 days and found 10,000 galaxies all of all sizes, shapes and color. This may be the picture of our Milky Way galaxy, but we, today we will discuss about how what the formation of this galaxy. The formation of galaxies is still one of the most active research areas in astrophysics and, the, and to some extent this is also true for galaxy evolution. Some ideas however are now widely accepted. After the Big Bang, the universe had a period when it is remarkably homogeneous as can be observed in the cosmic microwave background, the fluctuations of which are less than one part in 100,000. The most accepted view today is that all the structure we observe today was formed as a consequence of the, of the growth of primordial fluctuations. The primordial fluctuations caused gas to be attracted to areas of denser material and star clusters and stars. One consequence of this model is that the location of galaxies indicates areas of higher density of the early universe. Hence the distribution of galaxies is closely related to the physics of early universe. The study of galaxy formation and evolution is concerned with the process that formed at heterogeneous of the first galaxies, the OA galaxies change over time and the process that have generated the variety of structure observed in nearby galaxies. Galaxy formation is hypo hypothesized to occur from structure formation theories as a result of tiny quantum fluctuations in the aftermath of, big, of, the, of the Big Bang. Because of the inability to conduct experiments in outer space, the only way to test theories and models of galaxy evolution is to compare them with observations. Explanations for how galaxies formed and evolved must be able to predict the observed properties and types of galaxies. As has already been mentioned above that the formation of galaxies is a central problem in modern astrophysics. The major question here is how gas is converted to stars in such a way as to reproduce the structure of galaxies that we observe. This is the picture of the solar system and the stars and planets all uh, in this picture. So, and the a central focus of current research is on how the intense radiation from massive young stars as well as the violet stellar winds and supernova explosions that such stars undergo at the end of their lives dumps energy and momentum into the gaseous clouds and interstellar stellar medium of the host galaxy. These feedback processes are critical in order to prevent the too rapid conversion of gas into stars allowing the formation of extended sp spiral galaxies rather than overly spherical ones. All the evidence indicates the star formation is highly inefficient. Edwin Hubble created the first galaxy classification scheme known as the Hubble tuning fork diagram. It partitioned galaxies into eight elliptical normal spirals, bad spirals and irregulars. These galaxies types in exhibit the following properties which can be explained by current galaxy evolution theories. 
many of the properties of galaxies many of the properties of galaxies indicates that there are fun fundamentally two types of galaxies these groups divided into blue star forming galaxies that are more like spiral type and red non star forming galaxies that are more like elliptical galaxies spiral galaxies are quite thin dense and rotated relatively fast while the stars in elliptical galaxies have randomly oriented orbits the majority of giant galaxies contain a supermassive black hole in their centers ranging in mass from millions to billions of times the mass of our sun the black hole mass is tied to the host galaxy bulge or spheroid mass metallicity metallicity has positive co uh, correlation with the absolute magnitude luminosity of a galaxy there is a common con uh, conception that havel believed incorrectly that the tuning fork diagram described an evolutionary consequence galaxies from elliptical galaxies through lenticulars to spiral galaxies this is not the case instead the tuning fork diagram shows an evolution from simple to complex with no temporal connotations intended astronomers astronomers now believed that this galaxies likely formed first then evolved the elliptical galaxies through galaxy mergers hubble telescopes and new understanding the hubble space telescope was launched in the Space Shuttle at April 24, 1990. The Hubble Space Telescope is a project of international co cooperation between NASA and the European Space Agency. It is very special telescope which orbit far above the Earth. Hubble allows us to see objects more clearly because it is above the clouds in Earth's atmosphere. No telescope. before hubble had the resolution to see these distant galaxies before hubble astronomers had only been able to narrow the universe age down to 10 to 20 billion years old not a particularly exact measurement with 10 billion years of leeway hubble's observations helped change the age of universe from a vast range of possibilities to to the kind of numbers whose precision required a decimal point knowing the age of the universe is not just a matter of curiosity but giving us a time scale for development of stars and galaxies it keeps it helps us refine our models of how the universe and everything in is it formed some of the important findings of hubble telescopes are galaxy star birth we'll uh, we'll get this important findings by the hubble telescope's experiment one is galaxy star birth the astronomers have uncovered a unique process for how the universe universe's largest elliptical galaxies continue making stars long after their peak years of star birth nasa's hubble space telescope's exuicide high resolution and ultraviolet light sensitivity sensitivity allowed the astronomers to see brilliant knots of hot blue stars forming along the jets of active active black holes found the centers of giant elliptical egg-shaped galaxies scientists found that the black holes jets and newborn stars are all parts of a self-regulating cycle high energy jet shooting from black hole heat a halo of surrounding gas controlling the rate at which the gas cools and falls into the galaxy and the next is uh, hidden black holes when astronomer first turned a radio telescope on the sky they tracked one particular type of object looked like nothing more than a point of light per perhaps a star further observations showed that these objects were extremely far away meaning they could only be distant galaxies the object called quasars hubble's observation has 
also help determine that these brilliant galactic centers are powered by giant black holes. This is the picture of this black hole. As matter falls into supermassive black hole, the surrounding heats up and releases tremendous amount of energy and light creating a quasar. Now what is the meaning of the quasar? Quasar meaning here we just read it about quasar. So the object called quasar Abel observation and also determined that this brilliant that is center this object hidden black object this is called the quasar. So as matter falls into supermassive black hole, the surrounding region heats up and releases tremendous amount of energy and light, creating a quasar. Hubble found quasars in the centers of galaxies that are colliding or brushing up against one another, as well as elliptical egg-shaped galaxies, which are thought or to have developed as a result of multiple galactic mergers. These interactions may help feed the black hole and light up the quasar. Hubble also found the, that almost all galaxies with bright active centers have supermassive black holes feeding of galaxies matter. And the next is the runaway universe. Hubble's clear vision of universe has allowed astronomers to find extremely distant supernova. But Hubble's observations threw the standard assumptions into new level of disarrangement that universe was not slowing down at all. Examining the properties of the supernova, Hubble had imaged and astronomers found that the universe was speeding up though something was propelling it, driving its expansion faster and faster. The Big Bang Theory The Big Bang Theory is widely considered to be a successful theory of cosmology, but the theory is incomplete. It does not account for the need fluctuations to produce the structure we see. Most cosmologists believe that the galaxies that we observe today grew from gravitational pull of some fluctuation in the near uniform density of the early universe through the following sequence of events. When the universe was one of one thousand thousandth uh, its present size, roughly five lakh years after the Big Bang, uh, the destiny of matter in the, uh, in the region of space that now contains the Milky Way, our home galaxy, was perhaps 0.5 higher than the adjustment adjacent regions because its density was higher. This region of space expanded more slowly than surrounding regions. As a result of this slower expansion, its relative over density grew. When the universe was the was 100 its present size, roughly 15 million years after the Big Bang, our region of space was probably 5% denser than the surrounding regions. The gradual growth continued as the universe expanded. When the universe was one-fifth its present size, roughly 1.2 billion years after the Big Bang, region of space was probably twice as dense as neighboring regions. Cosmologists spec speculate that the inner pro pro portions of our galaxy and similar galaxies were assembled at this time. The stars in the outer regions of our galaxy were probably assembled in the more recent past. Some cosmologists suspect that some of objects obje recently detected by the Hubble Space uh, Telescope may be galaxies in formation. In the end, the phenomena of uh, in the end, the phenomena of look back time is crucial to the study of galaxy formation and evolution. We can directly observe how galaxies appeared when they were forming. If we can find galaxies at very large look backs, look back times. In recent years, astronomers have been using the technique of observing deep fields to pursue the most distant galaxies in the universe. 
The recent discovery of dark energy is another major unknown in galaxy evolution models, though its effect may be more important to the future of the universe than to the origin and early history of the galaxies in which gravity and gas dynamics played a significant role. There will be many new fundamental discoveries made in the coming years and with every discovery our known about origin of everything will increase and we will be in the position to give one answer to the question how the galaxies originated. So this is uh, as we know this uh, formation of this galaxy and we will uh, we'll discuss about the new to and different topics in the next video. If you like our video please like, like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment and thanks for watching.